Hello everybody, I'm Nate Asher and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. In the last episode, we did a little bit of the river raft, and in this episode, we are going to be uh, collecting a few more uh, secret seashells and pieces of heart that I took the liberty of marking for us. Not all of those on the map are ones that we can currently obtain, they're just some that I remembered, so don't just look at the map and think that, you know, you can go ahead and collect them real quick because not all of those are accessible just yet. But first off, we have not won a um, figurine in a while, so always good to come back to the trendy game and check in and see if there is a figurine and there is one okay so let's go ahead and get this shy guy not exactly Spot on, but hopefully they'll they'll get it. Oh, he crawled right in there. All right. Cool. Hey, you got a shy guy figure. Just don't ask what's underneath the mask. <laughs> okay. You never know if, if they'll stack up, so you always want to, like, go out and go back in just to make sure that there's nothing special. Alright, so. Let's go ahead and put this Shy Guy figurine on the pedestal it goes on. Alright, so, go ahead and look at our map again. See which should we go ahead and, um, just go ahead and go back to Tall Tall Mountain where we were. One thing we can get is this chest that we weren't able to get before, but now we have the hook shot. And get this cool 50 rupees. You don't have to worry about moving that skull. First I thought that that was how you're supposed to get back. But it wasn't that clever, I guess. <laughs> Over here, 
There's a secret seashell under the water here for us to get. Go ahead and mark that one off. We got this chest. We can mark that off. Now, go up here. Love that. <laughs> Aha, I got the heart back so yeah. Alright, so for another secret seashell, if we take our bomb and oh yeah. Whoosh. Okay. Mark that one off. Under this rock here, we get a, another secret seashell. And, if you look across there, that is our next dungeon. We don't have the key for that yet though, but we're gonna have to... ...put that off for a little bit. We're gonna get a tip on where that key is or how we're gonna go about obtaining it um, in that house that was up there. But I don't want to do that quite yet. I want to go ahead and get everything we can. Ah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Got that too. Okay, cool. Alright, so here is where we have to move these rocks in a certain way so that we can get all of the chests. Because if you don't get all of them, then when you come back, they're all going to be or open and you won't be able to get any of them. So. Alright, so first what we're going to do is we're going to move this over here. We're going to move this down. Really trying to make sure I don't screw this up to see. Okay, um, I feel like I'm supposed to come in from this way. Maybe I'm thinking of a different game. I think, I think I'm thinking of A Link to the Past. In A Link to the Past, there's a room similar to this that if you don't get all the chests, Okay, yeah, I must be thinking of A Link to the Past. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, if you don't get all the chests in one go on A Link to the Past, then, um, then when you come back, they are all empty, so. Uh, yeah, this is actually a lot easier than I was trying to make it. So, there are going to be climbs in all of these. And 
the last one, you will have 100. five seashells so we're only five away from getting every secret seashell in the game cool, cool. all right now we can go ahead and talk to whoever is in the house up there actually okay. this way right? You are near the Eagle's Tower. Beware of the bird. Oh, okay, um... This is actually something that I've been saving up until now. You fall in this hole... Get a piece of heart. And that makes four for us, so... Get another heart container. We only need four more, and two of those are from the next two dungeons, so we really only need eight more pieces of heart. But yeah, we could have just swam in here. This is right, uh, right here by the Rapids game and over by the Tall Tall Heights um, warp point, but I don't like just swimming in there. It feels cheap. I want to get it the right way. So. But I did have that marked. Now so we can go ahead and unmark that. Alright, so now that we have done that, we're going to get out of here. And be quicker to go. Down those back. Wrong stairs. I guess these aren't stairs, more of a ladder. Just like um, Aaron looks like Luigi, we have, or I mean, just like Taron looks like Mario, we have the hen housekeeper who resembles Luigi. Chickens these days don't have the fighting spirit they used to. In the old days, they could fly, flap, flap, and now, see, cluck, cluck. Hmm. Well, we can kind of glide with some chickens. In here is where the um, 
where we need to go. See, we can't go past here, but look, that's the key we need. Maybe we should have came from this way? that guy was talking about so we could just fly over that gap. Wonder if uh, old man Arira remembers those chickens. He's pretty old. Let's let's go talk to him. See where is a quick I guess this one right there. Bring, bring, hi, it's Aurora. Have you heard of the Flying Rooster of Maid Village? In the good old days, it used to give us rides if we held it above our heads. Now it is lying under the weather vane. Is that useful for you? I hope so. Bye. Quit. We can get one of those flying chickens. What's it doing under the weather vane? This was here this whole time. What? Well, duh. You guys think you can just put a rooster down here and it'll survive? Wait a minute. A soulful melody you learned from Mom. Didn't that guy say that this... Such an energetic melody can bring things back to life. Wow, the rooster is recovered. He seems very friendly. I guess he's just gonna follow us? Come on, bud. Alright, so I named the ghost. What should I name the rooster? Hmm. I don't know, what should I name? What? Whoa! We are flying. Dude. That's cool. Alright. Sorry, I'm having too much fun. <laughs> Flying rooster. Alright, well, I'll, I'll think of a name for him. Right now, we need to take him with us because we need his help to get this key.
I know what I'll name you. Doodle. Like Cock-a-doodle-doo. Come on, doodle, keep up. Eh, you're keeping up, alright. Got myself a flying rooster. No point in pushing all those rocks if I don't have to. Yeah, okay, I guess we can't transition screens with him, but woohoo! Nice. All right, doodle. You got the bird key. Come on, doodle. somebody I want you to meet. <laughs> wow, amazing! That rooster is actually flying! It's just like I said, huh? Have you tried to hold him over your head? Cluck, cluck. I have, see?
See the I don't think I didn't see that glowing spot. Oh yeah. New warp point right by a fairy fountain. What I like to see. Oh man. Holes in the ground kinda of look like that. Uh, Skull, the, the eyes and nose of a skull. How ominous! Oh, we made it! We made it! Check it out. that does it for this episode guys in the next episode we are going to be taking on my favorite dungeon in this game personally so look forward to that i know i am if you enjoyed this video please leave a like and i will see you all in the next one bye